welcome back guys to Fanny with Ada. As you can see the ottoman is way better. My bed is made guys. That's my bed. Okay. Now look at the ottoman. My trifold mattress is on top of the ottoman. And it has the cover. Okay. And it has the, the hinges. So my camping tents are in way in the back of the van. And I'm just uh, putting my stuff together here. I got my camping dishes. I got my emergency everything. You, uh, um, survival blankets. Those uh, I have fuel. I have fire starter. I got hydrogen peroxide. And I'm frozen. <laughs> so I just put a couple extra cans of food there. Okay, this is the folding stove. Fuel folding stove also. I do. I got a several several different um uh cooking pots okay rope is always important and then on the corner there i just kind of put my coffee okay i can just pull that out here's some of my camping dishes this is just um one of them i'm just organizing guys so you can see so this baby right there it will not be there it might not i can't say it won't but let's see what i could do guys but so far look guys I closed my bed down, and I'm ready to get in here, okay, guys? So, I'll be back. Welcome back, guys. I'm over here, um, sitting on the floor. My bed is popped up, as you can see. And I'm organizing my... Pantry my hidden pantry guys. This is like my hidden pantry and I like about it is that everything is Oops, I'm sorry. Wait a minute. Hold up guys Okay, here we go guys. So I'm trying to organize My um, my food pantry in the ottoman like I used to have it before Oh, I got some oregano tea. What? Edelberry tea Okay, I got a mix match here of elderberry tea and oregano tea. What? I got some at home. I always keep teas. These are good for winter. And they're very healthy. So I have my, my condiment here. Okay, I'll give you a closer look. But I just want to show you what I'm doing right now. So I'm trying to put my breakfast. Like, I love oatmeal, so I'm trying to put... My oatmeal and my, you know, my breakfast is all together. And coffee, sugar, and all of that good stuff. Boy, do I love some oatmeal, guys. I got my my sugar. When I get a taste for regular sugar, and these you get a dollar too, guys. Dollar tea? Dollar, dollar 25? Sometimes less than a dollar, guys. You gotta check it out. Always stop at Dollar Tree because there's always something to pick up. Oh, I got extra coffee. I got so much coffee in here, guys. I don't think I'll run out of coffee no time soon. So, but this is my Bustelo. Because sometimes I buy Bustelo. And I put it in, uh, let me put it with the coffee in here. Okay, there you go. You belong with the coffee. Um, I buy Bustelo, but since it comes in a packet, I don't buy the can one. Because you, you, you pay more money because you got the can. So... What I do is I just empty out the packet of my Bostello into um, into a whatever can, okay? Like I have a can at home that says Maxwell House, but actually it's Bostello. And when I run out of Bostello, I use whatever. Look, I got I got oil. Okay, I pour some oil in the water bottle here. So I have oil for the go. Guys, I have vinegar, okay? I'll tell you so far what I got. I got all my... Um, my groton potato favorites, okay. I got one, two, three, four, five, six of these. I got two packs, four packs of rice. I got four packs of these mini rices. Jasmine rice. A Dollar Tree, guys. Dollar Tree, okay. Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, Jasmine rice, okay. So, you gotta have rice. You gotta have rice, guys. You gotta have rice. So I'm, that's what I'm doing, guys. I got pasta also, okay? A variety, you know? When you want to eat, pull over and eat, you got a variety. So that's what I'm doing right now, guys. Just organizing 
my pantry, okay, and putting all the condiments together that I use, condiments that I use, not any condiment, condiments that I use, parsley, basil, turmeric, because I make my golden tea, uh, golden milk, guys, I don't know if you know about the golden milk, but it's very healthy, if you take it like every night in the morning, winter time is really good to take, a cup, you know, at least twice a day. It's very healthy. It's got good benefits. I could not go anywhere without my 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 um my curry powder, my turmeric curry powder. Okay, and I do add extra pepper to it, and I cook with it. I put it in after I finish seasoning my food. I add some of this um curry uh, Indian powder to to my food, and it just kind of spices it up and. It's good for soups. I like it for soups because it, it kind of warms up. Yeah. And I got to have my hot salsa verde for the day I might make tacos. Hey right, guys. So I'll catch you in a little bit. Let me finish organizing here, guys. Welcome back to Fanny with Ada's channel, guys. Truly appreciate all of you. Um... So far, I disconnected my camera. My, let me connect my camera back. <laughs> That's my mini blink camera. I just disconnected. Okay, I hooked it back. And all the food, guys, is in the ottoman. The canned food, the rice, the pastas. These are, you know what I did? I ordered, instead of worrying about milk and creamer and stuff, I, I mean, I do have um, canned milk, uh, evaporated milk, but you know what? I ordered this, guys. This is good to have at home or on the go, anytime. Okay, the coffee creamers, the coffee Nestle coffee mate. I think they were like 10 bucks, guys, for a bag of like, I think it's like 100 in here, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I think there's about 100 packets in here. An expiration date is 6-10-2024. So this is something that I said, you know what, I can truly um, use this, okay? Because, you know, I drink coffee. So, and even for cocoa or something like that. So my pastas, my canned um, beans, um, chili beans... Uh, vegetables, a couple of can of potatoes, oil, vinegar, uh, rice. It's all on one side. Over here, I have my, I changed, put my coffee here. My uh, Ziploc bags and stuff, because you always, you know, put something away, so you need a Ziploc bag. Always have matches, guys. Always, you never know. And all my cooking, cooking stuff is all on this side. I don't know if you can see me. Hold on one second. I see me to see what I'm doing. So here's all my camping dishes, okay, or cooking dishes. I have two sets of different size cooking uh, sets. Uh, as far as knives and scissors, I put them on one corner. I forgot what knives I have in here. But I got these also from Amazon. Uh, wow, about a year ago, guys, okay? They are really sharp. So, it comes in this bag, and the orange bag, because, um, uh, it, it matches with my, um, my tent. <laughs> so, I know that the orange little bag is the knives. So, it's good to have them very handy in one corner. So, as far as scissors, knives, it's all in one corner. Um, a couple of things I hid under here, which is like my quick start battery jumper if I if I needed it. I got some extra wires here. I'm just going to lay them around because I don't want to hide those. I know they belong to something. So I'll leave that. Guys, I have so I'm going to have some more space in here. So the three drawer... I'm going to leave my LED lights back in here. I'll install them another day when I'm not home. The only thing that I'm going to have visible is my power box. Because the ottoman takes the whole space of where the power box was hidden under the bed. It's, gonna, it's not going to be hidden under the bed, but it, it, 
it's, it'll serve me like as a table okay so guys this works wonderfully um this three dresser uh drawer this is very good it's very sturdy guys i mean my ottoman is sturdy guys it takes a lot okay guys so i can sit on my bed i don't touch oh yeah i can sit on my bed and i don't touch uh well because of my hat um i don't touch the the ceiling okay and if it does it really doesn't doesn't bother me at all just this size a little bit slants it down a little bit i'm frozen <laughs> it's but the sun is shining so it should get warm so guys two nights two nights look at that i look like a i look like a bear because i am so bundled up guys it's cold it's cold even if you're moving around, you're still cold. So I got clothes under. I have my my scarf. And, you know, my scarf is long, big, and bulky. So I'm over here looking like a bear. Hope nobody shoots me. Hunts me down. <laughs> anyway, guys. Um, I put um, the extra blankets I had. And they are so comfy, warm. I, got, I, I wrapped myself with one. Actually, I have one indoors. But indoors is different because you got the heat. Oh, look at this, guys. <laughs> um, you got the heat inside going, okay? But in the vehicle, it's a diff total different story. All right? So you got to have space open for your heating source, okay? I will be using the candle holder. Um, I think Barb bought it. Is it Barb or Beth D? One of y'all bought it. Um, I hope other of y'all bought it also. Is it at Walmart? You get it at Walmart, guys, or Home Goods. That big um, candle holder. That's what I normally uh, use for heating. And it works wonderful. And all you gotta do is put. Where is it? I left one out. But right now, I don't know where it is. Oh, here it is. You put one of these, and that's the reason why I got the six-hour one. Because I don't have to worry about a two-hour, maybe close to three, okay, in the candle holder. So I put one of these babies in that candle holder, lay it on the on top of um, a piece of wood, and forget about it. So, guys, um, the only thing I left out from the dishes is, uh, this is something that my sister-in-law made me. She makes these. I don't know if I showed it to y'all before, but look at this. She made these. I have it here because I want to keep it here. I don't want to bring it inside. And, oh, there it is. She even signed it for me. A beautiful gift with lots of love. Conserve it. Thank you, sis. That's my sister-in-law. To my beautiful sister, one of a kind. Oh, my brother wrote something, and then she wrote in with the other piece. Oh, isn't that cute? She made this on August 27, 22, guys. August 27, 22. So, and it's got her initials, JMP. I told you, you know, this is a good sale, guys. You know, this is, I mean, she could do something with this. I wish I had the ability to draw. Man. I couldn't even draw my way back home if I get lost. Y'all know that. When I get lost, I, I can't even make a map of my own. So, guys, I'm leaving that intact. Every time I move, I kind of keep an eye on it because I don't want to. So guys, look over here. Look at all this mess I got here. Oh, this is empty. This was one of the bins that was under the bed, okay? And it's empty. And the other empty one is sitting in the front seat. <laughs> so I still have um, some mess here. I have my back, another a uh, backpack. Oh Lord, have mercy, guys, guys, I, I, guys. <laughs> I just want to cry. I just want to. I truly want to cry, guys. I truly want to cry. Oh God. And you know what the worst part is? Uh, it's too cold to work outside. I can't do it here at home. Guess what happened last night, guys? I was in here last night. And taking my van apart. I was taking those bins out. I took everything apart. Y'all saw the mess. And then I said, dang, I got to take that frame out of here. But I waited till it got dark, right? I said, well, when it gets dark, she can't, you know, my, my human camera can't see a damn thing. So I looked around. Nobody was around. So I I opened the door and boop, boop, 
popped out really quick. Well, guess what? It was like pure daylight because the lights came on from the front of the house. Those are automatic um, uh, sensors. Holy crap. Then uh, my next door neighbor had got home from work. And I saw her car parking. And I saw her headlights stay on. I'm like, oh, crap. So I ran through the alleyway. I actually used the frame to put it like the back of the fence where the gardening, where the vegetation used to be. And um, I came running back. I said, oh, now, it's, now it's time to get that ottoman in there because once I get the ottoman in here, all I got to do is what I'm doing right now. I'm here quietly working, getting things done. Now, I got to deal with the two bins don't bother me. I can take them out because they're just two bins. What are they going to think about two bins? Nothing. But imagine. So, I had the ottoman in my hand already. It's not heavy either to carry. You can carry it with one hand, but it's, it's sturdy. It's wood. Yeah, it's wood. Um, and I'm running to the van to just shove it in through this, you know, I like put the seat down. Try to shove it to it. It fell right in his spot. And then I, I saw the neighbor's car. Her headlights shut off. I'm like, damn. You can't do nothing around here. You No matter how you try, it's always somebody watching. And I can't have no one see what's in here. So, not that it's much. I mean, it's just a sink and a bed. Now, the food is hidden. Everything is hidden. Okay, a lot of things are hidden. If I open my back trunk, the only thing back there would be my tent. That's the only thing that you'd be able to see. But I can't open my trunk in here. And no one sees the sink because I keep it, I keep the, the side seat. Um, sometimes I want to get rid of that side seat, but no, you need some weight into your vehicle. So, and, and also I can cook easier by sitting on that seat. So guys, it's going to work out. The only thing is, the power box will not be hidden because there is no room under the bed because the ottoman is that long. So, I had it, I had it out before. Well, anyway, these, this three-drawer bin is empty. Guys, I emptied it out. Yes, I did. I emptied it out. So, let me keep working, guys, and I'll get back to you. Let me keep working. Okay, guys. I'm here. <laughs> oh, God, I'm a hot mess. I got organized. I got the bed organized. I just got this um big... Oh, let me see if I can fit it back here. Guys, I can't show you this right now. Let me, just get, let me get this. Let me just get rid of this extra... I have an extra... um. An extra uh, jack, car jack, okay. Uh, this is, this thing is awesome. This thing is really awesome, guys. Let me let me give you, let me, let me go look, take a peek. Look at this, guys. I mean, it's all organized in there. Okay. Let's get back in there, organized. There we go. It's all organized in there. And there is one on the side compartment because my tire's on the inside, guys. I didn't know that my tire was inside, so this thing is heavy, is bulky, and it just takes a lot of my energies out when I'm trying to deal inside the van. This thing just want to pop and just say, I'm here. Okay, hope that I never have to use it. So, just wanted to show you this. It's really hard to put back in there. But you know what? It was handy in upstate New York because someone had a flat and I was able to help. Okay? I was able to help because I had the extra jack, which is always accessible. So you gotta have this accessible just in case. You never know. Hope I never have to use it because all I gotta do is call AAA. But if it was in the middle of, a, of no man's land, I would say. And you got to do it yourself. Um, you have... I got to get two bricks. 
yeah, two bricks because it's good to have two bricks before you even start jacking up your car, okay? Ladies, learn something new. It's much easier. It's much easier to jack up a car if you have two bricks, okay? Um, and then you put your jack and then you start jacking your car up. You can get it way higher, much easier, guys. Okay, so listen. I got the seat back. And every time I close the seat down back up, something was shh. I'm like, what the heck? Is it a, a fuel can? You know, my canister's under the ottoman or something? Uh, listen, three times, guys. Three times. I put the seat up. Here goes the shh. I'm like, oh, shit. Ada's about to blow her ass up in the van. So I put the seat back down really quick. Open the ottoman. Check all the castle. But they're not even touching the top of the ottoman. There is a, sp a gap between the top of the ottoman. One is closed. This is the gap in between you have before your food, you know, starts. What's going on? So I said, let me check on, you know, the seat or something. So I did check. Guys, it was a, a pack of, it's in the bins. It was a four pack of Lysol that was sitting under the, um, the headrest. So when I put it up, it would hit one of those cans and that was the shh and i was i was getting scared already so anyway guys make sure you keep your butanes safe so that nothing touches them wherever you decide to put them okay uh make sure that nothing is having any contact with them and just in case you might close something and leave and something's pressing against, you know, I mean, it wasn't the can, the cans. It wasn't the fuel cans for the butane stove. It was Lysol sprays. So, got the Lysol sprays out of the way. I taken two more bottles inside. And I left two cans in here. Then I have a book that has music in it. And I, I opened the booklet... And I found this, so I might as well just show it to you. This is a kid that he loved me like I was his mom, okay? Um, he, I know him for many, many years. And his family would always throw rocks at him, and he would always come to my house. Uh, he would sleep over. Uh, he would make me laugh. I mean, he was just a funny person. A great person. He would do anybody favors. Anybody. Didn't expect nothing back. But eventually um, he moved to North Carolina. And uh, he got a job out there with AutoZone. He became the manager of AutoZone. And got his own place. And he bought this little car. And he sent me a picture of the vehicle. That he was going to paint and then one night and one night and he's going to come to see me. And guys, during that time, uh, he was asthmatic. I guess he didn't have any asthma pumps left or something. And um, I used to give him, you know, extra a pump I had. He would always come to me. Um, or he would go to the emergency room. But he had an asthma attack, guys. They found him. Um, he passed away, okay, a couple of years ago. But I might as just show you his picture. Um, he, they found him leaning on the edge of the bed, reaching for the asthma pump, okay? He was about a couple of inches from his pump. And, uh, we don't have him around anymore. So, this was from a long time. This was, uh, maybe seven years ago. So, I really miss this kid. So I ran into, um, like I say, a lot of kids uh, think I'm their mama, okay? Think I'm their mama, and I guess they find in me what, you know, other moms or whatever. Yet, my own ones don't even act like the ones that are not even mine. But you know what? It is what it is. I, this kid really, um, 
He was a great kid. I, I can't say nothing bad. I mean, he had his ups and downs. Let me tell you, he whoa, God, he was strung out and all. And I put him in a program, and he got out and fixed himself back up. And you know, I mean, I was up to what three o'clock in the morning at that place. And until he decided to join, I said, I'm gonna sit here, freeze my behind off. Oh, I was at the post office. The place was across the street from the post office. Yeah. I spoke to the pastor there. He helps kids that are strung out and stuff. They take them to New York, clean them up, whatever they do, detox them, whatever, and they stay there and they come back. And he got out. <laughs> he came back. So the second time around, I sat in the footsteps of the post office and I said, oh, it was winter. Yeah, it was cold. I said, I'm going to stay here until you come back and decide to join back again. And he thought I was joking. I froze my behind, but he day he showed up because he knew I was going to stay there. I, I was true to my word. He knew that shit. So, guys, this is one of the kids that I don't have with me anymore, around me anymore. Okay, and I did this design. I do also, um, I used to be a photographer, guys. I used to do photography for uh, weddings, Sweet 15, Sweet 16. This is my art here. But uh, ever since that happened, I didn't do any more photography. And I even forgot how to do, I have the machine and stuff, but I forgot how to, the, um, the program on the laptop, I don't have it anymore because my other laptop broke. And, but this is my, this is my design I made. All right, guys, so I'm going to, I found a couple because I did make a couple of copies with my machine because uh, a lot of people asked me for when I put it on one of my other social medias and, um, I posted this one, and this one was shared around. Okay, so a lot of people do have this pick, but I didn't even know what happened to mine. Which I always keep it in my, um, the picture you see in my home of uh, Jesus, um, Sacred Heart. Yeah, I had a little teeny picture like this with a smaller one on it. And when I moved into this apartment, I don't know what happened to it. I guess the movers might have dropped it somewhere. And every time I look at it, I always, I always used to look at the picture. I know that's a garden angel I have. So anyway, guys, this is Manny. Um, he's not with us anymore. And this is my art. Uh, I put him on the palm of the hand of, of, of God. So, guys, that's one of my um, stories. So I'm glad I found that. You know what? I've had that folder in here for... Um, I think since I've had the van and I never even opened it up because I know all the music that's in there anyway um, I happened to just open it up because I was just going to stash it away but I just decided to open it up and there boom there it is like wow so in a way I am happy today that I found a photo because that photo that was lost it all stays on the back of my mind. Like, where the heck can it be? What happened to it? You know, it was with the Sacred Heart. Why is it not there? But, on that Sacred Heart picture, I don't know if you noticed. Maybe you can go back to my videos. I don't, I don't even know. There is a purple um, ribbon. That ribbon was from the funeral. That I got thrown the heck up out of that. Yeah, I didn't get to see him. They threw me out. The family threw me out because they didn't like me. I don't know why, because he, I guess because he always was around me, and my kids, my younger kids, um, and they loved him, they cried, oh, they still miss him, my daughter still says, damn, I miss so-and-so, you know, I miss Manny, but, um, yeah, this is what it is, guys, you know, just, God only knows, okay, only God knows, guys, so, we, we can, this is my power box. This is my power box, guys. Um, it's gonna be used as my table because um, I have no other. Um, this is my daughter's knee pad from her other job. Well, guys, she started her new job. She's very happy with, and I'm even happier because I know that she's not gonna be freezing her ass out there in the pure winter. God, it's cold in here. What happened to my hat? I lost my hat up in here too, guys. You lose everything. When you're trying to fix something in your van, you lose everything, guys. <laughs> so, I'm good. I decided to leave the three-door dresser in here for now. 
okay? Because I'm not gonna have the uh, the porta potty. I'm, I'm about to take it apart right now, guys. Um, I have a collapsible one, but I'm not gonna work on that because I need to get these two bins out of here. Okay, I got two bins. I emptied it out. The stuff I'm not using, I put it in here. I'm gonna take this picture inside with me. I got some extra bags there. Um, back from the Black Panther. My daughter went to see Black Panther with uh, some co-workers last weekend. She said it was a wonderful movie. It was great. Let me put my address back in here. So guys, little by little, I'm getting it done. I tell you, Rome was not made in one day. And this will take forever. Setting up a van. You think you got it, but you ain't got it. <laughs> but now I got it. Okay? I don't know what possessed me to get rid of the ottoman. I still have my grandson's helmet here. Um, I don't know what possessed me to help you get um, take the ottoman out. But the ottoman is something that... Um, it was essential in here because I have more stability in my bed and oh I put the heating blanket in already on the on my on my uh trifle mattress and then I put this other warm blanket um there's this is the um this is the heated blanket guys and then under there is the yellow one you know you used to see on the yellow one I like the yellow one Man, I'm gonna probably change it again, but right now it's gonna be the the beige checkered one. But I really like the yellow on top. Maybe I'll change it. Well, guys, I'm gonna take the um, porta potty apart. That's an extra baggage. That's not gonna be there. And then I'll just swing this uh, power box into in front of the sink because there is no other place. I don't want it over here. Um, I'll put it over there, and I won't have two baggages. <laughs> I'm getting rid of one. So, my collapsible toilet. I will not be demonstrating that one today. You know, this three, three deaths of drawer is giving me a headache because it's not, it's not in position. So, it's slanted here and there. I'm trying to make it straight is aggravating me so i'll probably get a uh, the narrow one not the, the one i have like this i'll probably get i don't need all the big space anymore there is nothing in there of my camping this is this is a collapsible toilet guys um it folds open hold on let's see what the heck this looks like because i haven't even looked at it let's get rid of this bag too yeah less less junk in here Okay. Oh, it comes with. Oh, look at that. Wow. Oh, shoot. It has its own bag, guys. It has its own bag. It's got the biodegradable. Oh, what? For 17 bucks? Oh, boy. I hit the jackpot. Guys, I hit the jackpot. It has. I don't know what this is for. Oh, woo Yeah. <laughs> oh, guys. Look at that. Whoa. Whoa. Boy, oh boy, this is about as tall as my, my regular bucket. And it's collapsible, guys. So let's put it together. What do you say? Let's put it together. Why Why not? Okay, so this, I guess, goes... Oh boy, this is going to be fun. Okay. Uh, let me, you know what, let me just learn because, uh, you know what, if I ever need to use it, I won't be breaking my behind up in here. Okay, so this is the cover. Wow, look at this, guys. Hey, I got a new port of paint. <laughs> look, guys. And I got the bags to go with it. What? Guys, it comes with the bag. Look at that. It must be about 50 bags. I don't know. I, I didn't know it came with bags anyway. I just ordered the toilet. The porta potty And it comes with a store away. A store away. How big is this? Okay, yeah. And yeah, look at that stores away guys so i don't have to have this um uh set up okay i mean if i was to come into my van to boondock somewhere or camp or something 
Then I'll set it up, okay? Yeah, I'll have it set up. You're not going to be putting this together when you got to go. Because sometimes when you got to go, you got to go. All right? Now, how do you take it apart? Oh, Lord, have mercy. Wait a minute. Oh, it has a string thing, and I, I didn't I didn't realize. Okay, well, listen, you got to come out of there. You got to pull this up. Okay, okay, Ada, don't break it, Ada. A choir. Yeah, I know I had a little string. I saw it, but I didn't pay attention to it. Okay, I'll just push it in there. Okay, I got you. I got you. I got you. Where are you? There it is. Here, this is what I was talking about. This is what I was talking about. I saw it, but then I was stupid. So, next time, I'll put it in this way. All I gotta do is Find this piece and take it out. And look, I didn't even have to fold it. It folds by itself. Oh, oh, oh boy. We are, oh, boy. Oh, boy. Also, wait, there we go. There we go, guys. Um, we got a collapsible toilet. And then, boy, this is great. This is awesome. So I can set this up when I'm in my van. Okay. And um, the next thing I'm going to be trying is my heating source in here, which I know I did it before. It did work. The candle holder, I'll tell you, the candle holder. And let me tell you something. The candle holder, I did never, I never used any, oops, oh, damn. I never used heating um, uh, cans. I used uh, scented candles, okay? That's what I would put. If you're going to put use scented candles, guys, listen, buy these, okay, these big jars. Um, you can have a $5 something. It's, it does a trick. It warms up that top of the um, candle holder, the glass um, big uh, tower uh, candle holder. And let me tell you, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It works, guys. It works. So I'm going to take this one inside because I have two more in there of um, cinnamon and uh, an apple. And, uh, all these big panther bags. So I'll take this out to, um, once I get out of here because the only thing the human camera is going to see is, uh, whoops, here, don't forget to dump your, your, your trash bags. Guys, look at this. This is awesome. Boy, this is awesome. Yeah. Look at that. And it's put away. So... Let's get rid of this excess baggage. Let's get rid of this one here. I don't know what I'll be using this for, guys. I don't know. I'm trying to minimize. Oh, you know what? I'm going to put the paper all together. You know what? I'm going to get a smaller three-door uh, three um, uh Holder here, so that oh, I got plenty of toilet paper. I got plenty of toilet paper, guys. Take this one out. Let this baby out. Look what I had. This is what I was using. It worked wonderfully, guys. Oh my goodness, I have so much toilet stuff in here. This is oh, with some more soap. Lord have mercy. Some more toilet paper. I mean, you know, you gotta have toilet paper. Toilet paper, you gotta have toilet paper, guys. You gotta have toilet paper. I'm gonna take this inside. I got wee wee pads that I put inside if I don't have cat litter. Okay, listen, cat litter is the best, but not that one that um, doesn't have any scent. It's like rocks and stuff. Man, don't get that. Get that scented one. Um, what is this? Frisky. I forgot what the name of it is. I use these wee wee pads. I'll take a pee or whatever and it absorb it. And this is charcoal. It's charcoal, so it, it you know, the scent also. So, you know, whatever you're doing to play. I mean, we are going up over here, so. Shouldn't be ashamed to talk about shit and piss, right? <laughs> keeping it real, guys. I'm just keeping it real. So I'm going to leave those wee wee pads right in here because 
I will be needing them. And also when I carry around with Bella, this is why I have extra wee wee pads. Lord have mercy, I am stacking up this over here to the rafters. Oh Lord have mercy. So that's gonna be one last baggage I have is this can here, this big jar. I'm um, a big jar. Big um and I got more plastic bags. That's all she wrote, so I'm gonna take this baby apart. I'm gonna save it inside the house. Don't get me wrong. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, because you never know a sh SHTF situation, and 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 you don't got no water, or you don't have, you cannot use the toilet. Hey, this is the solution right here. And then you know what? Since I live by the train tracks, it ain't gonna, it ain't gonna be too hard for me because I can always. What the heck is going on in here? This is supposed to be an empty bed. There we go. Guys, in an SHTF situation, uh, you have a shovel. You um, tie up your bag and you shovel up a big hole, and you throw your, you know, the 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 um uh your toilet um uh stuff, okay, that you use. So you you can do that too. Yes, you can. So guys, this is one excess baggage now that I have. Okay. I love this little bag. I'm going to leave it here because I really don't want to get rid of it. Maybe it could serve me as my dirty laundry bag, right? I could keep it in the front over there. Right, guys? I'm going to keep it here. I'm not going to bring it inside. So I do need a laundry bag. So look, guys, this is what we, this is where my quarter party uh, used to be. Okay, I'm gonna leave it here because I really don't want to get rid of it. I really don't. Right? I really don't. So I'm gonna leave it. Where am I gonna put you? I can't see. This is the thing that when you start putting stuff away, you want to keep like everything. Doesn't that happen to you guys? You try to get rid of baggage, but then again, you don't want to get rid of stuff. And then you wind up taking nothing out of out of out of out of the the, the crooks and crannies, right, guys? No, that's, that can't happen. So I'm gonna oh, look at it; it just stands right back up. <laughs> okay, let's play. Okay. <laughs> music with it. Oh boy, I have my own fun guys. I have my own fun so I'm gonna stick you right there for now. Don't you dare open up. Okay I stuck it there in between my plastic bins. So this is another item going inside the house. I am not going to get rid of it. Um, it'll probably be my ice melt bucket. Who the heck knows? Alright, okay. Time to get the heck up out of here. I got stuff, guys. I have stuff all over the place. Oh boy, I'm a coffee cup. We ain't making no coffee. We ain't making no coffee. Okay, guys. So I'll catch you on my next video. Alright. All right. Guys, where are you? There you are. Guys, look at this. I look like a bear. I'm a bear up in here. Um, I lost my hat, guys. I don't know what happened to my hat. I look a hot mess. Oh, this is the toilet cover. Okay, you going inside a house? Yeah, I had a I had a toilet cover before too. Very convenient, you know these. Whoa. Um, the cheap way to go is with the bucket and this cover. Uh, well, actually, the cover. Yeah, the cover. Um, what is like ten dollars at Home Depot? Um, yeah, for emergencies at home or emergency situation. Also for camping and um, and van life too. It's really it's really um uh I I got yeah, I used it. We used it many times. Many times guys. Okay, even locally, just going to appointments, running here, running there, and I just had to go. Okay. And you know, everybody now no one, you can't use no bathroom, no public bathroom, unless you're shopping for something, okay? And like I say, when you gotta go, you gotta go. So, us campers and van lifers and whatnot, 
and even home okay even at home it's good to have that already now because um think about the big snowstorm damn was that big or what um so you gotta be prepared with all of that stuff already okay you should have it anyway you never know you never know okay you never know what's gonna come across your way and don't i look a hot mess today guys look at this um i lost my hat i don't know um but all this noise and the shishing and all of that stuff i had i don't know what the heck happened to my hat all i knew is i had to find out what was that noise so guys all i have in my um three bin drawer is my my smaller cooking pot, okay? These are smaller. You can make a little bit of soup. You can fry an egg or whatever. You can do wonders with it. And then I had ordered a... Oh, no. This is the smaller one. Yeah. This is a smaller pot. And then um, my... Um, what is it? This gear? This gear? Something like that. I got this a long time ago. A long time ago. Um, and the Ecox Outdoor. I'll leave a link to this one. This one is this one's pretty good. I like this one. I like this one. Okay, this one has um, the deep, the deep um, for to make some soup. And this one like to fry or something. Actually, you can use there's three of them: small, medium, and a large one. So hey, you gotta work with it. Okay, make it happen. Make it happen. So guys, under my bin, uh, in my ottoman now, I have beans, I got spaghetti and meatballs, I got spam, yes I do, I don't like spam, um, I rinse, I cut it into a little, if I'm going to make rice for, for two people, me and my daughter, I use a half a can of spam, I cut it into little pieces, little pieces. And then I soak them in hot water and leave it there for five minutes and, and then rinse it out. You get all that salty and that, that fat all in there. Or you can um, boil it a little bit, just a little bit, okay? And it takes all that salt and all that other, other stuff they add to it. It comes right off. Then you rinse it out. And then you stir fry. I stir fry with the sofrito, garlic, my sasson. And then you throw some rice in there and you got yellow rice with uh spam it's delicious you don't taste all that salty and all that fat guys stay away from the fatty foods and stuff like that because, you know you're just clogging up your arteries that's what you're doing or raising up your cholesterol if you have cholesterol or you're gonna have one of them problems down the line so be stay healthy okay think healthy eat healthy i know um i don't really dig into these canned soups but i do have Oh, yeah, I got boxes of that stuff because one can will kick a meal. But what I do is if I have to, and I've done it, is I empty out the water and then I add whatever is missing out the water. <laughs> and then I put a little bit of garlic powder or something in there, okay, to kind of just get it back there. So, guys, look. Look, let me show you. Okay, so I got a less baggage over there. I can get in and out more easier, okay? Um, and I have my power box here. And let me see. Oh, what the heck is over here, guys? You know, I just have stuff all over the place. Um, my camera. Ooh, wait, wait a minute. Okay, guys, I won't be able to work on this one because I got my camera uh, extension extender. Oh, I can't pull it either. So I don't want to disconnect it either. I'm gonna Right there for today. I don't know what we're gonna be done for today. Oh gosh, we're gonna be done for today, guys. So that's gonna be it. That's what she wrote, my, my guys. So I will catch you guys. And bring you I'm so sorry, guys, but this is uh, what it's looking like right now. Okay, I still have my seat. I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna push with my back push it back a little bit more because i do fit in my comfy bed okay guys so i'll give you a better look a better angle um once i get some of the stuff out of here and get stuff a little bit more organized i wanted to bring my big freezer cooler in here 
Well, you know what? You don't really need a freezer cooler unless you're going to carry around with tons of meat or something like that. Or you're going away far. Yeah, I could see. But, you know, this holds meat. I've, I've, I've put meat in there and it stays nice and cold. Um, I don't, I mean, for your drinks, whatever you drink, water, it's just cold anyway. Okay? It's going to be nice and cool. So, um, I don't, uh, I don't really carry around my freezer cooler and where it's at I would have to move heck of stuff to get it out so anyway guys this is giving me a problem here because it won't stay straight it just keeps popping up and off so I'm going to get the smaller one and then um, then if I get the smaller one I could fit the power box in between the other one and the bed okay that's that's my um, my idea um, I really don't want to have the power box there, but for now, it's going to have to do it, right, guys? This is a tripod I have, uh, because when I go to the trails or whatnot, I I can put my laptop on there, and it's not heavy. And my little jacker, my mini, my mini jackery, um, and I could just go on with my music, you know? And people that pass by, they just, they enjoy it. Um... So anyway, guys, that's about it. Oh, I hung up my little chicken heart over here. This chicken heart, guys, look at it. This chicken heart, um, it was given to me by the family in Nassau, New York. If you are watching, guys, um, love you. Um, I don't know when I'll be back up up that way. Um, it was given to me by the kids that um had the um the, those uh cotton um cotton squeezers yeah oh i got mine i got mine in here i got two of them oh they're, they're in the front i got two of them yeah <laughs> yeah guys so i got this chicken heart they gave that to me okay so it's in my van okay it's it's in my van i mean those are i call them little treasures on the journey what do you think that's what i call these you know this this little little um Things that you collect down the way, okay, um, or is given to you, it means something to me. It uh, is a part-time solo van lifer, okay. Um, I treasure these little things that you, you know, you get um, given to you, or you get, or you find something, okay, that ha has some meaning. So yeah, I, I when I look at it, I I, I always think about them anyway. I can imagine what Christmas would be um, in that family's house, okay? What? <laughs> so, um, yeah, I think it's on my video from Halloween, um, uh, getting scared, something about Halloween. It was back in the summer. Uh, what was it, August? Somewhere around there, September? No, oh, September, yeah, September. There was a video there of the, um, the ornaments at the family. Um, uh, all their um, creation of Halloween that they had not even finished. I wasn't even all of it. That scared the crap out of me. And I had fun with the kids, okay? So, um, you know, those... Uh, I, well, I can imagine what Christmas would be. Decoration, if they do Christmas decorations. Whoa! Guys, I hope, I hope that... Um, Christmas, um, it won't be a white Christmas. I mean... I don't know, guys, but if it's not, I'm definitely going to take a drive because I would love to see that house decorated and all the houses because over there they decorate beautifully. Down here, um, town people don't really care anymore for decorating. They don't really, you don't see nothing. But anyway, here's my chicken, guys. Um, I love my chicken. And that's from the family in Nassau, New York. Not Nassau, Bahamas. Nassau, New York. That's upstate New York. Actually, it's 20 minutes from my brother's house. Okay, yeah, 20 minutes. That's all it took, 20 minutes. <laughs> I need to get to bro's house. I didn't even know where the heck I was. <laughs> so, guys, I'll catch you on my next video. Hope you have a great weekend. And, uh, yes, I do have my carbon monoxide. Yes, yes. And my old mini fireplace, too. Yes. I just got to get some of this stuff out of here. Okay, out of here. 
and change this for the smaller one and then put my power box under between and then whew, we'll be fine i'll be fine oh another thing that popped out in the way is my backpack that has clothing um so i'm probably gonna make a pillow i probably uh, well i do have i put the pillowcases actually where are you guys i am a hot mess up in here here i have some pillowcases and I put him there for that reason that I am going to take um, that backpack and I'm going to shove it into a, um, a uh, what, one of my, um, maybe this, no, I love this pillow. This pillow is, oh, it does wonders for my neck. I'm going to take a, um, another um, pillowcase and just uh, throw it as, um, backpack uh with clothing pajamas and stuff i have in there and some winter stuff uh in it the whole bag and all i ain't about sorting out nothing because i don't have those zippered um pillow things i really don't want to have them um i don't carry much anyway of stuff and um throw that in a pillowcase okay and um it'll look like a pillow and it won't look like a book bag and um, behind here, guys, there is there is room back there too. Okay, this is you. This is not all of it, guys. Behind this here, there is a um, like a a little uh, foldable um, uh, a little container that has my um, my liquids for the vehicle. Okay, like my antifreeze, my um, um, windshield washer um uh brake fluid you know all that good stuff it's back there and then behind my headboard is some space back there is my two camping um tents the small one that i use the orange one i used in the summer that i got caught up in the rain and um i have the other one that i have not had the chance to open that's the um seven foot tall tent it's a 10 by 10 um and i haven't opened it yet so it's back there it's huge guys that thing is very huge i mean it's like nowhere to put it but <laughs> so back there i left so i i i i have to put a um a like a netting i do have a net in my home my little apartment I'm going to, not here, I can't do that here, but I'll take my van somewhere and I'm going to put it so that when I open up the back latch, nothing falls off because, you know, something always has to fall off. So that'll keep that from happening. And then, I don't know if I will install that or not, or maybe use that instead of the netting. It's also a net, but it has pockets. And the purpose for it is that it goes on the ceiling, okay? It goes um, secure to these four handles, and you have a storage on the top. But then I said, what the? I mean, you know, not that my head touches the top, but um, just barely scratches my hair. But imagine me having something here and then putting stuff, you know, how you start Putting more stuff into crookies and crannies. And then I'm going to be, what, like this? Bumping my head over this, that, and that? I said, no. So I always thought about it. I said, nah, it's not going to work. <laughs> but it will work for um, behind the curtain, you know, from the top of the um, the opening. Not the, not the latch, but the vehicle itself, okay? Um I can have that come right down over and it'll hold whatever is back there when I open the big latch. So guys, um, that's it for today. Okay, I'm over here running my mouth, mile a minute, and I got to get out of here because I am so hungry. And well, at least, guys, look, all the mess that I had and it all became nothing. Okay, guys, the sink is working beautifully, guys. The sink is working on everything, everything but without put this, okay? This is why I put this. 
Will you stay still? Or you don't want to be in here? Or you mad because I took the toilet away? Well, I think this thing is mad at me, guys. Anyway, guys, I'll catch you on my next video. Hope you enjoyed this one. And um, I'm going to be back soon. Oh, I have one thing I didn't show you. did not show you this one guys this is because anybody to come and mess with me i know how to torch somebody's behind out okay guys so <laughs> yeah that's my defense torch right there that's that's just one defense guys i'm gonna tell you no more than that one i try to go light if i gotta go heavy then i gotta go heavy but i try to keep it light <laughs> anyway guys thanks for joining me this morning Saturday morning and uh, maybe tonight. Don't come out here tonight. I got to work on my other windows, guys. I got the felt here. Well, it's back there. It's back there. I got the felt. This extra curtain that I found here. I, I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but at least right there. Um, I have the felt to put on my windows, okay? Um, especially the right side and the left side for like stealthing okay like right here if i wanted to stealth right here i, I need the felt if i'm elsewhere i don't need it. i mean yes i do need to cover that right side window i wouldn't even worry about the left side window my curtain dividers do wonderfully i don't have to really worry about that one uh these are fine for now you can't see nothing even if i had lighting in here at night through here you cannot see so guys um i'll come in later on and work on the felt okay and this is the yuko candle guys and there's a lot you know there's some people talking about that and in case of an emergency this will save your life let me see something this thing will freeze your life okay this thing will freeze your life. I try. I used this um, in the beginning of just the fall weather. It wasn't even that cold, but it was a little chilly. Inside of my two-person tent that is not, you cannot stand up on. You could probably be on your knees, but you cannot stand up. And I used three candles in the Yuko. And you know what? It didn't do no justice. It doesn't do nothing, okay? Um, it's there because I have it, and if I have to light it up, I will. Maybe for lighting, but to feel any heat, you got to keep it low because the heat comes up through here, okay? It comes up through here. So, guys, it, listen. Do not waste your money on the Uko, okay? Do not. Get a, a candle holder like the one I showed you that I have and get a candle or a, a fuel canister and put it in that baby okay and forget about it or and the tabletop fireplace guys they're $37 they went down get one get the fluid and get the wick you can forget about it guys you'll be nice and toasty I do have a smaller one one day I'm going to bring it in here. I'm going to test it in here one day. I have a smaller tabletop fireplace. Okay. Very secure. No danger. Um, it's less dangerous than the one I have. The one I have, it has to be propped up somewhere on a table. Like I do, I have it. Um, but the other one, you don't. It could go right on the floor. It's a little bit more compacter. It's not uh, much smaller than the one I you've seen but it does the trick so we'll have a demo on that one down the line okay um but i truly recommend the one i gave you the one you've seen okay for home use guys look at the um all the people on standstill in upstate new york buffalo syracuse that area up there but uh, buffalo yeah boston all that air, Lake Erie, all of that, um, what they call it, the something effect, Lord have mercy, I've never seen no shit like that in my life, um, I've never seen anything like that, you must have to live by a lake or something, 
I mean, we do have the Raritan River that goes up to New York over here, some down, 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 down the other end of the town. But I never seen anything like that. Um, you know, even when you're too busy working, you don't even know a damn thing about the world. Okay, that, so that's, I would put it that way. I was too busy working and coming home and, and, and doing what I had to do, okay, daily basis, normal life. And you don't know anything about the world. You learn about the world when you're on a standstill. You can't work. <laughs> Just your mind, your mind is free to wander and see things and learn more things. I'm like, damn, if I would have known that shit 20 years ago, what? <laughs> Guys, <laughs> have you ever thought like that? I wish I knew that 10, 20 years ago. Have you ever, have you ever said those words, thought about it, guys? Damn. Well, it's never too late to start, okay? It's never too late to start. I do what you want to do. But I'll give you an advice. Do what pleases you. Don't please no damn body. Please your damn self, okay? Because nobody going to please you. Years will pass by and, 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 and they will give less of a crap as the day goes by, guys. The ones that you truly depend on, they really don't give a rat's ass about you. So anyway, guys. <laughs> I haven't had no breakfast, guys. You know, I... I that's just uh, Ada got to eat. If Ada can't eat, I, you get crazy. So, guys, keep prepping besides van life. You know, I also I am a prepper thanks to y'all prepping the channels. For y'all prepping channels. Gosh, I, it's, just, it's getting chilly. I'm hungry. I can't even talk right now. And I haven't had my second cup of coffee. You know, that one's important. It's the second cup is the one that's the most important. <laughs> This uh, fruit punch uh, vitamin juice is not kicking it for me. I need some coffee. So, no, we ain't doing no coffee in here. No, don't even, don't, no, don't even go there. Um, so, oh, my neighbor just left. I'll tell you, it, it'd be busy. But if I was to move this van out of here, to tell you the truth, when I come back, I have to put it inside the house if I had to, okay? Because it wouldn't be no parking. And there is no parking. There's only one, two, three parking spaces. Two. One and two. That's it, guys. That's it, guys. I, I can't move. I wish I could go somewhere and just give up. But I got to get stuff out of here. Then I'll be getting the heck up out of here. I need a night to heck up out of here. Um, so I'm going to take these bins out right now and um, and come back later. All right, guys, thanks for joining me today, and y'all have a great weekend. If y'all stuck in that snow, listen, guys, um, think about the snow. Think about if when it happens in your town, and you cannot shovel your vehicle out. Um, you could lose your life shoveling, okay? Um, I, I, I don't know what I'm going to do, guys. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, my back and my neck is not in for that one. So, um, I don't know, guys. When I get here, I'll think about it. But anyway, stay safe. Don't try to do what you're not supposed to be doing. If you have a uh, compromise a system, take an aspirin, okay? Before you touch a shovel, before you touch a snowblower, take an aspirin. If you suffer from high blood pressure or any, any of those, uh, um, uh, you know, I'm giving you some nursing tips now. Um, I, you know, I did it for 26 years. Um, cholesterol problems, uh, any kind of immune uh, compromise, uh, heart problems, uh, high blood pressure, low blood pressure. Um, do not get out there to try to shovel. Best to lose a couple of bucks, invest in a couple of dollars. I know it hurts at this point. We can't be giving stuff like that away for a hot minute of cleaning up you know your, your snow and then once you move that you're done but it's better than using using losing your life or giving your family any hardships so think safety okay guys um if you hear snow coming to your town your area get whatever the heck you need for a week or two weeks, uh, I mean, everybody should be prepped, but not everybody is. You should have something at home to survive with for at least a couple of weeks. 
Forget about it. Take a taxi, take call an Uber, call somebody, leave your car alone. Uh, warm it up so the battery doesn't freeze. But don't try to be the hero out there. To battle the snow. Whatever you gotta do, do it before the snow comes down. Unless you have to go to work and it's mandatory, then uh, something that you really have to get out. Um, then I, you got to work around it. Um, my daughter's new job is very demanding. But the good thing about it is that they have um, facilities for sleeping, okay? If a storm or something like that and you want to stay, they have an area for them. Um, and they have a locker, their own lockers to stock up your food, your juices, your whatnot, your whatever, refrigerators, microwave, they got about everything. So, I, I am so happy. I am so happy that she don't have to freeze her behind. Delivering millions of dollars to the banks, to the malls, to supermarkets. Um, facing gunpoint situations, which she had. Um, but she didn't go to school for that. She went to school for hire. So, she, she got her foot in the door. So, I'm glad that she's not going to be freezing her behind. All day long and, and until 11 p.m. at night in these drop temperatures or these treacherous heating temperatures. Um, so, you know, she's not going to be going to, I mean, she is going to be freezing here and there, but not like it's, you know, all day and all night. So, I'm glad for her. Um, I'm very happy for her. And she's very happy. What? So, well, how, how happier can you get? And she'll be safe. So anyway, guys, the only thing is a distance from home. So I did tell her when she told me that in the the four one one, I told her, you know what? Don't even think twice about coming home. Um, if it's snowing and it's gonna be bad and whatnot, just to sleep a couple of hours and you gotta go back again, and then the snow gets worse and the roads gets worse, and you you gotta get there. Um, uh. Just stay the heck over there. Just call me and let me know. So get your blankets, get your pillow, get to whatever you need, and put it in your car and your extra shakes and whatnot and whatever. And keep it in your locker or in your car. Oh, mommy, I did that. Oh, okay, you, oh, you did that already. Okay, good. Take clothes, pajamas, whatever the heck, soap, toothpaste, your extra toothbrush, whatever the heck you need. Uh, stock up your car, a, um, a backpack or something, and keep it in your locker. And um, if you got to spend the night, do not think twice about it if you got to go back the next day. Um, they can stay here for a couple of days if they have to. It doesn't really matter. So, um, uh, yeah, so I'm glad. So just call me so I don't be busting my head up here thinking something happened. But, you know, kids, even, I they say that when, when they're, when you when your kids are small, you say, "Oh God, I can't wait till they get big," you know, because you go through a lot. Um, you go through a lot, and being a working parent, oh Lord, it takes a toll on you. Uh, they don't see it, but we do. Until till they have kids and start raising them, then they know what they could be going through, or you've been through. Um, oh, they'll never know. Um, or they see it in other people. No. But anyway, guys, when you say when they get bigger, God, I won't have all you know all this, all this extra you know stuff. It'll be a little easier. But no, when they get bigger is when the headache starts. That's when they start giving you true freaking headaches. Um. Oh yeah, they'll shoot, they'll shoot uh, arrows from every freaking angle. Listen, guys. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I, I, I can't understand the generations anymore. Yeah, that's why I prepared my van, and I, I when I need distraction, I just go. Okay, I just go. But I haven't been out because I've been prepping, canning food, and all that good stuff. So, guys, I'll catch you. I got to get inside. I need my cafe. I'm going to take these two buckets. Pop, 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 and I'll catch you on my next one, guys. Thanks for watching. Got a lot of hugs and hugs and hearts for all of you. And y'all have a blessed weekend. And uh, stay positive thinking. And... Continue to prepare, okay, guys? Be prepping. Don't, ooh, wow, that car passed so fast, it shook my van. <laughs> all right, guys. I'll catch you on my next one. Love you all, guys. I love all of y'all. Bye-bye.
Okay, guys, one more thing I did. I think you're gonna love this. I uninstalled my wiring to the power box. Look at that big baby right there. I made it myself, guys. And um, I ran the wire back uh, from the carpet. Okay, it, it ran from that corner. Oh, my flowery way. Come here. You don't belong in there. You belong over here. There you go. You belong in that corner. Okay, guys. So, I disconnected my wiring. I had it running under the carpet. Under the carpet. All the way to this corner here. Okay. Coming out through there. So, what I did was so I can move the box out of that corner there. Okay, or actually to to push it towards where the um my porta party used to be, I can climb right over it in and out, and it won't be in my way. Okay, actually there's a big space back there, and that's where it's gonna be placed at. Okay, the uh, my power box. So um, I have the wiring running from the uh, charge inverter. From the charge controller, let's see what it's reading. There, it's charging beautifully. So I'm going to. I can't even find my my pliers, my my handy tool. Um, I'm going to be disconnecting it from there, and then I will be um, connecting it right over here where it used to be or right up here okay and that will give me a better access to my usb ports um it has two on the uh, charge controller but i can always add a um a multi um usb adapter due to that most of my usb um power sources are on that side okay there we have the fan um, in order to charge my, my little boom box when I watch TV at night, if I needed to put anything else to charge, okay, um, I can easily have access right there, okay, guys? Um, so, that's a, um, I did that before I come out of the van and take my bin out. So, guys, as you can see, that is looking a little bit more neater okay more organized less clutter um so i'm still gonna have this space okay i'm still gonna have all that space okay i really don't know what to do with this but this thing is driving me crazy okay this thing is driving me nuts so i don't know what i'm gonna do with that i'm gonna leave right there i'll figure it out if not it's coming out but i really don't want to take it out because you know it, it's storage it's storage so let's see what happens with this. Right now, let me give you. You're going to be happy. <laughs> Aha! I went back to the yellow. Okay. I just switched it around. I have my, my freezer over there just sitting there. So that's another part too. That, um, that also has to be powered through USB. My fireplace is also USB. Okay. So I need a USB power outlet right here all right so yes my box is movable okay yes it's not stationary it's movable unless i tag along with my little jackery then i could just place the jackery anywhere but no um this is a five batteries in there lithium batteries and they have 35 amp hours each um, let me show you a little bit more about this box, guys. This box is, has the setup also for a inverter. Okay, the only thing is that I have not... Well, I did hook up the inverter, but then I took it off because I didn't really need it. But I will be um, installing it back on, okay? So for now, I can only leave it right there because that is where the wiring... The wiring that comes from outdoors from my solar panel up on my 100 watt flexible solar panel, it goes around, I put it under the sink, and it goes around like that, 
and it goes into the charge controller okay so once i get the charge controller removed from there it's just two screws but i can't find my handy tool um or a screwdriver in here i know it's got to be in the back but i'm not going back there i'll take that out then once i remove the charge controller i can move the charge controller boom okay and place it over here and my solar power box can be repositioned into that spot so you see right there that big spot right there guys uh yeah the um power box fits there and i have it very nicely covered and it can serve me as a little side table and if i have to jump in from the front um it's not gonna harm because it has the knee pad that my daughter gave me okay it's sitting on top of the box so here we have the knee pad um and then i have this on top the non-skid so i can always jump and no one will ever know what the heck is that box not that anyone's going to see it guys i keep myself as stealthy as possible and then this is another um power source this is my camera this is my mini blink camera guys and this is like a disinfectant but it also has two usbs so that's a plus so this this part this piece here will stay on the right side of the van i always have it hanging over here it stays on the right side of the van because that has another um it has a port oh, let me show you guys that has a port right right there let's see where are you right there guys i don't know if you can see it guys let me visually find this baby there it is <laughs> so this is a um it has a uh you uh a cigarette lighter socket is what's in there okay yeah i did that myself guys it's all connected to my batteries the charge controller everything the flexible panel and it also i also added that extra that extra um cigarette lighter socket so as you see it, it also reads beautifully so i have two i can look in two different directions and i can see my my power charger so guys um that socket is where i plugged in this baby and it gives me extra usbs okay for my right side of the van and then uh the left side of the van is where the charge controller always used to be that's why you see those uh two holes i just um showed you so i'll be coming in later on tonight so for now let me move out of the way let me get my keys hold on guys don't go nowhere okay guys this is where my solar box will be going and i have to get a screwdriver Quick look, guys. I have a lot of space. I have a big bed. I have cushion on my side. My um, sleeping bag. <laughs> I have my chair. My smiley face, my prayer box. There you go, guys. Well, I think I did a big accomplishment by moving the box and getting rid of excess baggage. And I will change that later on. And, guys. my keys and all this goes inside thank you for watching guys